Hey guys, Kenny here. Today we're going to be showing you how to make this PVC bow. As you can see, it has a good bit of tension on it. We're not sure how many pounds by just pulling it back. We're saying around 25 to 30 pounds. This was originally around a five foot, four and a half to five foot length of PVC. So we're going to show you exactly how to make this step by step. You're going to be needing paracord and any length of PVC. We use one inch. This is one inch PVC. Uh, it's one and a quarter, my bad. It's one and a quarter inch. One inch will work best, but anything lower, you're not going to get the max amount of power you really need. Uh, the tip is just going to be a field point, nothing special. And uh, maybe if you guys comment, I'll show you how to make the homemade quiver. I made it myself. So yeah, guys, we'll be back whenever we start making it. All right, guys. Kenny here. We're going to show you how to make a PVC recurve bow. Now. This is a four and a half inch, well, four and a half feet tall. I'm, uh, I'm five foot and eight and a half, so this is the perfect length for me. Just whenever you bend it, that's the length you're going to get. We're going to use these numbers and letters that they already have printed on as a measuring so we don't get it off. If the holes that you drill on either side are off, it's gonna, your string's going to be weird and it won't shoot right. So we're going to get back whenever we're starting drilling the holes. All right, guys, we're going to start drilling in. We'll get back whenever we have both holes drilled. All right, guys, now that we have both holes drilled all the way through on um, both ends, we just use the letters and numbers to measure where we need to put it. So it's as straight as we could get it without a measuring tape. How you string a bow like this, we're using paracord. Doesn't matter what color, it's all the same. You put one foot over, use your other foot and stop it, and just use your body weight into it to bend it. If you use your bicep or your arm to push it, you're going to get tired out very quickly. So just use your body weight, take your paracord, slip it through both holes. It's very difficult, so I'm going to get Ty to help me. So we'll be back whenever you're done stringing the bow. We'll shoot it and do a test. Okay, yeah guys, this is how you make the bow. We uh, finish stringing it up. Uh, we used a good bit of paracord. It's just the tension was so high that we had to wrap it so much because every time we wouldn't we get this good bend. That's what gave us the good tension on it. If you have it bent more, you don't get enough room for the arrow to actually rest and get a good pullback. So yeah, we're gonna do a small test and show you how it shoots. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day.